Hey, what's up you guys? It's Connor and today I'm going to do my birthday book haul. So I got a lot of books for my birthday and so I'm going to start speaking quickly through this video so hopefully we can get it done as soon as possible. The first books that I got I don't have with me. My parents gave me this same set of Bulwer's works. It was published at least in 1878. I think that's right. And they were really old and really awesome looking. And on the front of the books it says, The pen is mightier than the sword, which he is the first one that kind of coined that phrase. But on the cover, the words pen and is are very close together. And so when I first saw the books, I just burst out laughing. And I pointed it out to my brother and he just burst out laughing too. But I do really, really like the books. And I'll insert a picture of what they look like right now. Another book that I don't have with me, my brother Torn gave it to me, and I had already read this book. I borrowed it from him, and he decided to give me my own copy, and he gave it to me in hardcover, and that is Dragon Run by Patrick Matthews. It's the first in a uh, children's high fantasy series, and I really love children's fantasy books, so that was right up my alley. Thank you, Torn, and I'll insert a picture right here. The next book that he gave me was uh, <laughs> Wings of Fire. Uh, the Hidden Kingdom by tu Tui? Tui T. Sutherland? I am so... I, how do you say your name? I'm so sorry. Okay. Anyway, this is the third book in the Wings of Fire series, also by that person that I can't say your name. The author of this book contributed to the Seeker series, which is a book about bears, and I've read the first one in that. I have not read any of these books, and so when he gave it to me, I was very confused, and I was like, Torn, what, what am I supposed to do with this book? And he told me that I could buy the first two, and then I would have the first three books in the series. Makes perfect sense. Um, actually, he asked my, my mom to buy the first book in the series for him to give to me, but she bought the third. So he already owns the first book, which he has lent to me, and that is Wings of Fire, the Dragonette Prophecy. And this is a children's high fantasy series about dragons obviously. Uh, I think it's solely about dragons. I think this whole world has dragons in it, and they have different types of dragons, but I don't think there's any people. So I'm pretty stoked to get into this series. My brother really likes it, and I'll take any opportunity to get my brother into books and reading. The next few books I'm going to do are sequels to series, so if that is boring, uh, you can just like skip along in the video. But the next book that I got is Fire by Andrew Sage. This is the seventh book in the Septimus Heap series. This is the final book and the conclusion to the series, and I'm very, very looking forward to seeing how it's all wrapped up, and I guess I'm a little sad to say goodbye to these characters. They're pretty funny, they're entertaining, um, you know, that's pretty consistent with children's books, and I think that's why I love them so much, but I know there is a companion novel, so if I am too upset, I can go back and buy the companion novel to go along with it. This book series is about a boy named Septimus, and he is the seventh son of a seventh son, which means he is just a crazy good wizard, and it's just about his uh, trials and tribulations through life as he grows up, and, you know, accomplishes great, great things, and it's about his sister Jenna. So yeah, it's just, it's just really good. The next book that I got is The Icebound Land by John Flanagan. This is the third book in the Rangers Apprentice series, and I really have enjoyed this series so far. I mean, I guess I've only read the first two books, and there are 12 books, I think. Yes, I'm pretty, pretty excited about the series to see where everything goes with Will and Holt and all of the cast of characters. Uh, the characters are pretty witty and I just like wittiness. I think all of my friends are pretty witty, so yes. Then I got The Battle for Scandia, which is the fourth book in that series, and I don't have to give you the premise again, but it's a... or actually I have to give you the premise because I haven't done it. This series is about a boy named Will who doesn't get originally accepted into any apprenticeships, but then he becomes the ranger's apprentice, and he has to deal with that and go around, and he finds out that the rangers are a very important part to his kingdom life. I'm, I'm not sure if it's the kingdom. I think it's a kingdom. And so through these books, he just finds out what, it's, what it means to be a ranger, and, you know, he has to save the people that he loves and the kingdom that he loves and protect everyone. Yes. One of the first videos that I did was a review of the first book in the series, and I never continued along with it, although I don't, I'm not really sure why, because I did enjoy the first one. That is Landkeep, which is the second book in the Far World series by J. Scott Savage. 
This book is about uh, two parallel worlds. One is like Earth, our world, and then another one is Far World. And it's about two characters, Marcus, who originally lives on Earth, and then Kija, who originally lives in Far World, and then they have to defeat the dark and um, save everyone. <laughs> and there's magic and monsters and uh, elementals and all these people, and it's just crazy good fun, and again, the characters are witty and awesome. Then I got the third book in the series, which is Airkeep. So, yes, I am just going to marathon these two books, and I'm not sure when the fourth one comes out, because I think it's being published by a different publishing company. So I think the covers are staying the same, I believe. But I just, like, really like these covers. They're, like, the... They're they're mildly, like, the... The crazy fantasy novel uh, things, which I don't mind them. I really like them, so... Yes, I really like these covers. And you guys should check this out if you haven't. <laughs> One of the most exciting books that I got for my birthday was the third Harry Potter book, which is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, I lent this book to my oldest sister, Kyla, and she never gave it back to me and lost it. So I really needed to get a new copy so I could read it over and over again because I have read the Harry Potter series at least, like, four times or something, which isn't a crazy amount compared to some people, but if you reread a book four times, and you, especially a series, and you just love the whole thing over and over again, it just really means something... And I just love them so much. Now I'm going to move on to the books that are not sequels in series. They're either first in series or standalones. The first book I want to talk about is Hunger by Jackie Morse Kessler. This is the first book in the Riders of the Apocalypse series. Is this reflecting right now? What is this doing? It's so shiny. Anyway, this book is about a girl named Elizabeth. And she becomes the writer of the apocalypse, the famine one. And this book addresses eating disorders. And I think it's a really clever way to talk about issues like that. And in a fantasy setting, and I just love fantasy. And I'm really curious to read about the writers of the apocalypse. I've been playing Darksiders 2 recently uh, for PS3. And I just... I just want to get into more of the fantasy elements that I haven't read about. Like, the, uh... Like, The Writers of the Apocalypse. I haven't read too many books on zombies, so if you guys want to recommend me books on that. Uh, I haven't read too many books on... You know, has anyone done a book series solely about centaurs? That would be so amazing. Or a book on, like, the Minotaur is the main character. Like, I would just love to read weird books like that. Hmm. This, this is already getting long. The next book... I originally saw it on Beatrice's channel, which is Books Over Looks. She's awesome. I'm pretty sure you guys are all subscribed to her already, but if you're not, I will leave a link to her in the description. I saw this book last year, summertime, I think, and it's been on my wish list since then, but it's Perfection by J.L. Spellbring, and this is a historical fiction where the Nazis won World War II, and they continued their genetic modifying of people. And so in this book, you are perfection if you are of the Aryan race. So you have blonde hair, blue eyes, and they have genetically modified uh, people to be able to speak telepathically, and that is a trait that's only found in uh, people of the Aryan race. The main character, her name is Alyssa, and some one day she finds a boy that can speak telepathically but has dark hair and dark features, and so she has to deal with finding that and what she should do about it and you know it's pretty exciting but I'm really excited to read this I think uh, alternate histories about World War two where like as like where the Nazis would win would be really exciting and interesting to read about so yes 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 the next book is the only book that I didn't ask for I made this huge uh, Christmas slash birthday list and I told my parents to just like pick so that I would still be surprised which books they got me, but it was guaranteed that they would get me something that I would enjoy. But this book, my mother found it and thought that I would really like it, and I really do think I will, and good on you, Mom. But it is Steel Heart by Brandon Sanderson. I've heard so many good things about Brandon Sanderson. I really want to read the Mistborn trilogy, which is on the NPR Top 100 Science Fiction and Fantasy Novels or books of all time. I'm not sure which one. I think it's like 16 or something. So... He is an amazing author, so I've heard, and I'm really excited to read the first book in this new series by him. In this book, I think there are anti-superheroes, so there's people that have superpowers, and then there's ordinary people, but the people with superpowers are called epics, and they 
are criminals, I think. I think they're pretty bad guys. Uh, they are no friends of man. With incredible gifts came the desire to rule, and to rule man you must crush his will. So, yes, yes, yes. The next book I know that Cassidy Boynch, I'm sorry if I said your last name wrong, and correct me if I did, uh, really, really enjoyed it, and I know Reagan from Prue's Project is planning to read it for her Bowder Books readathon that's coming up. That started on the 6th, and that is Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. Yeah, this is a high fantasy novel. I'm not sure what it's about. Yeah, this book is told in the perspective of four different people, which is funny because I'm actually writing a book where there's four main um, points of view, and it's the points of view of a princess, a rebel, a sorceress, and an heir, and I think there's a huge war going on, and so it affects everyone. I'm sure it's going to be great. I know the second one's already out, so if I really like this book, I can go out and pick that one up. The next book is A Confusion of Princes by Garth Nix. Garth Nix is one of my most read authors. I'm not sure if he's one of my favorite, but I think if I've read a lot of books by him, I think that might make him one of my favorite authors. Um, I've read the Seventh Tower series by him, and I'm also currently reading the Trouble Twisters by him and uh, Sean Williams. And I think in this book, there are many princes. Like, I think the, the king just you know, got busy and had lots and lots of sons, and so, or maybe there's just different families, but anyway, if you're a prince, you are someone special in this world, obviously, because if you're a prince in this world, too, you are special, and, uh, all the princes start trying to kill each other and everything, so, I'm pretty sure it'll be fast-paced and exciting throughout the entire thing. The next two books, my sister bought me, and she also got me Fire, which was, like, one of the first books that I talked about, but it is The Iliad and The Odyssey by Homer. This is the Barnes & Noble leather-bound collection edition. I just am a classical studies major, and I really appreciate classical literature, as in, like, ancient Greece and Rome things. And I also love ancient Egypt and anything ancient. I'm not sure why I just love that stuff so much. Yes, I do, because it's awesome. And I really wanted a nice copy. I've already read both of these books, but I'm excited to just, you know, maybe reread them in this edition. And, you know, it's really pretty. It has the, you know, like the classic Greek geometric pattern. Little statues, some water. Uh, the spine is cool. The back has some gladiators. It's like gold leafing. It's just great. It has that ribbon thing, but it's in the plastic, so I'm not going to take it out right now. But yes, 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 I'm so excited. Thank you, Shay. The next book that Shay got me is Neil Gaiman's Anansi Boys and the American, no, just American Gods. American Gods is number 10 on the NPR top list, and, uh, yeah, so I'll get to that one before I read Anansi Boys, but I'm really excited to read Anansi Boys because Anansi was a Caribbean and, uh, African <coughs> god of spiders, so that's pretty exciting, and, you know, I'm all about mythology, so, yay, 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 and it's got silver pa pages instead of gold, and green is my favorite color, so, yay. The last book that I have to show you is World War Z by this person, Max something, Brooks. My sister's boyfriend lent me this book to read because it's number 54 on NPR's top 100 science fiction and fantasy books. Uh, my sister's boyfriend doesn't read a lot of fiction. He reads mostly nonfiction, and he really, really enjoyed this book regardless, and so he was very excited to lend it to me. And thank you so much, Matthew. What? I've never called you Matthew in my life. Thanks so much, Matty B. I will sh be sure to take good care of this book. So that's it. I got 22 books for my birthday, and I'm so happy. Thank you, everyone. Thanks to my nanners and Pop Pop and Cheetah and my Uncle Mark and Kyla Shay Torin and my parents. Just love you guys so much. You're the best. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below on some of the books that you really liked or want to read or anything you want to tell me, just tell me in the comments and I'll respond. I'm really good about that. If you guys have had a birthday recently, happy birthday to you, and I'm really sad that I'm 22. Bye!